Music legend Sir Paul McCartney has hosted an exclusive Q&A with 20 of his fans here in Perth. The former Beatle also gave the small audience a preview of what they can expect at his show this Saturday night. The Beatles' first Australian tour 50 years ago. Today, Sir Paul McCartney's reception in Subiaco was a little more subdued. I mean, I've sometimes done it in my shows nowadays, and I'm talking to the audience, and you wouldn't believe what it was like when we were here in the 60s. I say, I tell you what, come on, girls, give us the scream. The music legend allowed 20 lucky fans and 10 Eyewitness News into his rehearsals this afternoon for a preview of his one on one world tour. These fans got this opportunity by winning a competition on social media to put forward a question they'd like to ask Sir Paul McCartney. It's exclusive to Perth and an experience most could only dream of. How could I, as a nine-year-old, help change the world and bring as much happiness to people as you have? But well, You seem like the, the kind of boy that's going to do it. So I wish you the best of luck. Just, just learn what's good in the world and go in search of it. He reminisced about the last time he was in Perth almost 24 years ago, swimming with dolphins in Mandra. They're supposed to be very intelligent, so I've got to try and communicate with them. So what did I do? I start singing, Strangers in the Night, for no apparent reason. Strangers in the night. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I'm just hoping the Dolphins were Sinatra fans. Sadly, not all Beatles fans had their dreams come true today. Perth man Marcus Cahill was known as the King of the Cavern in Liverpool for his resident John Lennon shop. Did about 436 shows or more. Marcus has dedicated most of his life to the band and has one wish jam with Paul at his concert at NIB Stadium on Saturday night. Not many people get the dreams, you know? It's like winning the lotto. If you get it, you're going to be extremely happy. So, here's hoping I win the lotto, huh? Rebecca Munro, 10 Eyewitness News.